this time we're going to look at a very well established trail for once. This is actually a pretty easy hike, but it's all about the scenery on this trail. This one's called the Beaten Path, and it's in the Beartooth Mountains. This is one of Montana's biggest mountain ranges, and the tallest peak in Montana is here in the Beartooth. So the Beaten Path is a fairly popular trail. Um, you're not going to find a whole lot of solitude out here, but it doesn't really matter because the views are just incredible the entire way. So since this is a 27 mile route, it is possible to do it in a day, and we met a lot of people who were running this trail and completing it in one day. For me personally, I think the views are so incredible here that I wanted to take my time going through here, and we actually took four days to do this route. So we were going really slow and taking our time to hang out at each lake along the way and just taking the views. We also did a whole bunch of fly fishing too because there's just endless alpine lakes. You'll be passing one every mile at least on much of this route. Beauty. So starting out at the East Rosebud trailhead here. Um, it is a pretty popular trailhead. As you can see here the trailhead is pretty packed full of cars. About three miles in you'll pass Elk Lake here and there are some good places to camp in these trees right here. And that's basically the rule for all of these alpine lakes. Um, pretty much every one of them has some good places to camp. Keep going, you'll make it to Rimrock Lake, and then Rainbow Lake. And this is a really popular place to camp. There's a whole bunch of campsites on this uh, southern end of the lake here. Keep going, you'll be at Lake of the Falls, and there's a cool waterfall coming down the side here. Some more campsites on this side of the lake. And then at Big Park Lake, this is pretty much the first and only lake that isn't just pristine and clear like all these other ones. Uh, Big Park Lake is kind of muddy. After Big Park Lake, um, we chose to camp up at Echo Lake up here, which is a little bit off the beaten path, but it got us away from the crowds too. Uh, there's no official trail going up here, but if you're paying attention, you can find some side trails, and that'll, that'll take you up to Echo Lake here. Then the next day, we headed up to Dugan Lake, and this is one of my favorite places on the whole route just because of this really cool waterfall here. It's massive and we hung out uh, fly fishing in this pool for a few hours. Uh, plenty of good places to fish along this lake, but there's plenty of good places to fish along any one of these lakes basically. There is world class fly fishing on any one of these alpine lakes. Uh, keep going up to Twin Outlets Lake and then Dewey Lake. These are both pretty big lakes. And we ended up camping on this side of Dewey Lake here, which gives you pretty good views of these massive mountains surrounding you. And then keep going, you got a little bit more of a climb to get up on top of the Beartooth Plateau. Uh, Fossil Lake will signal that you're up on top of the plateau. And once you're up here, it's a pretty surreal landscape. It's very strange looking. It's just rock and alpine grass, basically. There is not much cover at all, so if there is some bad weather moving in, Make sure that you try and find some shelter. It'll be kind of hard. Uh, just pay attention to which direction the wind is coming from and then try and set up on an opposite hillside to give yourself a little bit of shelter from the wind. But this is a really cool place to actually leave the beaten path and do some off-trail hiking. Since it is so exposed up here, the off-trail hiking is actually very easy. Just make sure that you know where you're going because it's pretty easy to get lost up here. Everything kind of looks the same, and there are so many lakes that it's hard to remember which is which. So we set up camp here at Fizzle Lake, and then did some day hiking past No Bones Lake, and then up to Stepping Stone Lake, and hung out on one of these little knobs over here. And from up here, uh, you just have an incredible view of the tallest peaks in Montana. So up here you have uh, the Spires, Mount Villard, Glacier Peak, and then over here is Montana's tallest peak, which is Granite Peak, and that's 12,799 feet. So you just kind of have a commanding view of uh, the tallest mountain range in Montana from up here, and it's a pretty awesome place to watch the sunset. And then from this point, it's pretty much all downhill back to the trailhead. You'll spend a little bit more time up on the plateau, uh, passing a whole bunch more lakes on your way out. Then you'll be entering the forest again as you descend off of the Beartooth Plateau. Russell Lake will kind of signal that you're off the plateau and you'll be in forest the rest of the way and it's nice easy hiking all the way back to the trailhead. And Kersey Lake will be the last lake that you pass on the way out. Hopefully your car is still here at the trailhead 
and you can take a short drive into Cook City here. Um, this is a really cool little outpost. Um, one of Montana's many outposts that are in remote areas and Cook City has a whole lot of character to it. The beaten path is really nice hiking the entire time. The trail is in good shape and the views are just incredible the entire way. The only downside is it can be a little bit crowded. Um, you'll see a lot of people on the trail but there's so much space out here that everybody kind of finds their own spot to hang out. And it's one of the nicest hikes that I've found in Montana.